What's up, mentorship freaks? It's the mentorship motivator dropping daily bombs. Let's do it. You see in the in the headlines, selling. You're selling all the time. Selling is going on all the time. There's sales going on at every stage of the process. I was reading an article. Actually, it wasn't an article. It was a Facebook, Facebook, whatever. One of those sponsored ads, whatever. You see an ad for some sales, sales course, sales training. Some I don't even know who it was. Doesn't matter who it was. You know how when you're scrolling, you get caught into that fucking trap of Facebook scrolling. So I saw this thing, clicked on it just to check it out, see what it was. And they were talking about a sale, the sales process. And this is from a so-called fucking guru, right? And they're talking about how in the sales process, all right, so you, how, how you should break down the sales process. And 10% of the time should be on introduction and rapport building. Then 30% of the time should be on qualifying the prospect then 30% of the time should be on your actual presentation. And then 30% of the time saved for closing and overcoming objections. All right, now I'm no sales guru. I don't have one of those fancy fancy ads when you scroll on fucking Facebook, but I am here to tell you that that's a bunch of bullshit and you cannot follow that type of formula. You can't follow that type of thing. It's crap. It is pure crap. Why is it pure crap? Because, all right, let's break it down step by step. R rapport building and basically, which is relationship building, should be done in the first 10%, they say, you know, 10% of the time in the beginning, which is incorrect. You need to be relationship building the entire consultation. You need to be rapport building the entire freaking consultation. You can't just build rapport in the first 10 minutes, 10% of the time, whatever it is, and then think, okay, that's done. Now we're all cool. We're all good. Hell no. You need to continue building rapport, continue building that relationship and keep that in your mind to consciously continue building that rapport and relationship the entire sales process and not only continue you need to maintain it because listen you could have the the perfect sales presentation the sales consultation ready to close a deal and you break rapport with them at like the very end or at any point of the process guess what you blew the fucking deal so you need to be thinking rapport building 100 percent of the time next 30 percent is supposed to be on qualifying for us, we call that the pain section, just to make it simple to remember pain. Remember the three Ps, pain, plan, price. So pain, which is also after the introduction. So pain, the pain section, they say should be 30% of the time. But again, just like in the rapport building and relationship building, you should be uncovering their needs and qualifying them because that's the official term the gurus use is qualifying or whatever else engaging them, whatever. You should be spending the entire time qualifying them, engaging them, finding out what their needs are, what their problems are, what their pains are. You're not going to get that all uncovered just in that one section that you decide you want to get it done in. You're going to get a good bulk of it, but guess what? When you go into your presentation, more pain is going to pop up. When you have them fill out some forms, more pain is going to pop up. When you go get in, getting into the clothes and they bring up any objections, more pain is going to pop up that you didn't, that you didn't uncover already. So you need to be thinking about uncovering their, their pain, uncovering their problems and uncovering their objections throughout the entire thing and qualifying them the entire time. You can't just think, okay, that section's done. Now I can move on to what? To my presentation. So 30% of the time should be your presentation. That is the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard. You should only be in presentation mode for one segment. Fuck no. You should be in presentation mode from beginning to end, even before the beginning. You should be in presentation mode from the second you put your marketing out there, since you do something to get their attention. And then you're in presentation mode when you're calling them on the phone for follow-up. You're in presentation mode when you're scheduling the appointment, when you're confirming the appointment. When you first meet them, that first impression that you have with them is a present. the presentation has begun. The fucking curtains have opened up. The bright lights are on you. It's fucking showtime. It's time to flip the switch. It is showtime. It is presentation mode from beginning to end. The entire part of the process. You can't just go slopping around because it's not presentation time. And it's not the presentation portion of your of your, your meeting or consultation. Whatever you want to call it. So you need to be in presentation mode the entire time. Always sharp as attack. On the ball. On freaking fire. Like the expert, the person they look at that's like shining, like, wow, that motherfucker has their shit together. I need to do whatever they're doing. I need to follow that person. That is who I need to be around to get to where I need to be. That's being in presentation mode the entire freaking time. And all of it, it's all the same. Then go, all right, so next, the closing. The closing, the selling, and the objection should be 30% of the time. The final 30%, which again is just purely stupid. You are selling the entire time. You are selling when you walk over to them with confidence and shake their hand and look at them in the eyes. Give them a nice firm handshake and introduce yourself. 
and greet them and give them a tour around your place or whatever it is. You are selling from the second you send that marketing. You're selling every phone call you make with them. You are selling. You are fucking a selling machine every single second of the time. 100% of that time, you are selling. And also, you are closing 100% of the time. Even in the beginning, even the introduction, even in the information gathering, intelligence gathering, whatever the fuck you want to call it, you are selling and closing the entire time. You're overcoming objections. You're not saving time at the end just to overcome objections. You're overcoming objections the entire time. Everything you do has the whole entire presentation because we're presenting that whole time, right? Every step, you're constantly overcoming the objections the entire time. You're not waiting to the end to get caught off guard with all their bullshit excuses and objections or that they're lies. You're going to crush that stuff throughout the entire time because you know that stuff's coming. You're going to prepare for it. You're going to have a contingency plan. We know we're still going to bring up that. They're still going to bring up that bullshit at the end, but you've already probably covered it and squashed most of it throughout the time because you're constantly 100% 100% of the time overcoming objections. You're not saving time at the end to overcome objections and start scrambling and be unprepared and react to what they're doing. Fuck that. You're not going to react to them. You're going to be in charge. You're going to be in control from the beginning to the end the entire time because sell, you're selling from the beginning. You're selling from the second you start marketing, from the follow-up phone calls you make, from your first impression to the to the conversations you have. You're selling when you're when you're digging the pain with them. You're selling when you're when you're doing the presentation, which is presenting the entire time. You're selling when you're giving them the solutions and the plans that you're that are gonna solve their problems. You're selling when you're closing. You're selling when you're fucking selling. You're selling when you're overcoming objections. You are selling the entire time. You're selling to your current clients, to you're selling them every day to continue being current clients. You're always selling them. You're selling people that are on trials with you or just trying you out. You're selling them to become long-term members, signing up a contract, long-term clients to sign up a contract. You are constantly selling all the time. You're selling your your gear, your supplements, or whatever else you sell, obviously related to your industry and your business. You're selling your whatever, you're selling all the time. Every stage of the process, you're always selling. So 100% of the time, you're doing all that. 100% of the time, you are giving a first impression. 100% of the time, you're rapport building. 100% of the time, you're gathering information and qualifying them and finding out their pain. 100% of the time, you are finding, figuring out, giving them solutions to their problems and in presentation mode. 100% of the time, you are selling them. 100% of the time, you're closing them. 100% of the time, you're giving up, you're, you're overcoming objections. The entire time. And this is why our core values, we have, you know, we have 15, we narrow them down to three. Our first one, bring the fucking fire every second of every second. And if you're always on your A game, you never have to be on your A game. And no excuses, never accept any, never make any. It's simple. And so just the first one, bring the fucking fire every second of every second. You're always presenting. You're always doing everything. You can't just say, oh, I'm only going to do this at this segment. You're going to crumble. You're going to fail. Follow these steps. Guarantee you're going to close more deals just by having this mindset mentality that you're always doing all of this and being conscious of it and practicing it and being prepared and just attacking that shit and doing it all at once, all the freaking time and just overwhelming them. Because guess what? Your competitors are not doing any of this shit. Your competitors is just worrying about selling to them. People don't want to be sold. People want to fucking buy. You're going to make them want to buy with this shit. So go close some motherfucking deals. I will talk to you later. This is Mentorship Motivator dropping daily bombs. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.